Hello, today I'm going to show you how to properly um, charge your DJI Phantom battery to your DJI Phantom. Okay, what we're going to do is take our balance charger. We're going to plug in our AC adapter to our AC unit the back here. Got some stuff on mine for some reason. Let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna plug that in. Now we're gonna take um, this uh, XT60 cord <clears throat> and plug in the red, the positive, and the negative to the positive and the negative. Right here. Make sure these two aren't touching, or it could possibly it'll it'll give off a charge. So make sure those aren't touching. Make sure they go into the positive and the ne the negative goes in the negative and the positive goes in the positive. Make sure that you're on red. Make sure that you're on the red and the black for the black and the red for the red. Okay. Now we have our DJI Phantom battery right here. You're going to take uh, this cable right here, this uh, gray one, and you're going to uh, plug it in to the back here where it says uh, 3S. Okay, so plug 3S into the back, or well, into the side. Alright, and now you can kind of you can flip your battery over to where the phantom's facing up so that this can reach over here better. Go ahead and uh, plug in. Go ahead and plug in your uh, balance charger, and then you should get uh, all these lights on the top. Which uh, this one uh, shows your charge status, and this one says uh, what s your battery is. Which uh, this is a 3S battery, so um, it'll it should light up to the th one two three S and should stop there. And you, if you plugged it in correctly on the side, but we haven't uh, fully plugged in this uh, XT60 cable. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to uh, plug this in. And uh, just go ahead and plug it in to where it has a nice little seal on it all the way okay and now you want to make sure that um, that your bat the settings as you can see right here it says lipo and life you don't want it on life you want it on lipo okay and then uh, this is 1 amp 2 amp and 3 amp you're gonna want it all the way over on 3 amp or well it, it just depends really on how fast you want to charge uh, 3 amp takes about an hour and 30 minutes to uh, fully charge the battery to its uh, maximum capability. And uh, 2 amp takes about an hour and 50 minutes. And then 1 amp takes about 2 hours and I'd say 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So I always leave mine on 3 amp. And it, uh, right now it's probably about 60% charged, maybe 75% and uh, so it, it should go pretty quickly so it really won't be an hour and 30 minutes for me but if you're you, you never want uh, your lipo battery to go all the way down to zero you want to still have it like you know like at least five percent left but you can't really tell so I mean it's okay if you do if you make it go all the way down to zero you, you should do that at least one time but you don't want to do that every time because that'll um, it'll just deplete that battery life and you know over time you might be getting 15 to 25 minutes but if you uh, keep uh, taking it running it down all the way to zero and keeping that motor running until it runs all the way down then it's eventually you're only gonna get you know maybe 10 minutes maybe 8 minutes so it's best to cycle it down to about 20 and then uh, let it charge up to 100 percent and then pull it off and so these are the lights you should see for the DJI Phantom, specifically uh, charge status, 1S, 2S, and 3S. Should, uh, it shouldn't be lit up to 4S because this isn't a 4S battery. So, 
And uh, yeah, this is the BC24 balance charger for the, uh, like I said, the DJI Phantom, which uh, this is the front of the Phantom, and that's the back. You can tell, you can actually tell on the bottom when it's uh, lit up, uh, it should light up red for the front, and the uh, back is a uh, green. So um, that's how that's how I look at it. I don't really look at these red things, the little uh, decals, which is kind of messed up there a little bit. But um, it'll light up red on the bottom of the front, and then green on the back, and then our DJI uh, controller. So or DJI. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically how you do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll, be, I'll probably be doing a full setup and quick start of the uh, Phantom D DJI, which I actually got. The new one came out, the Phantom 2, and I didn't know it was coming out. I bought this, like, two weeks before the new one came out. And I'm finally, it finally got here, you know, it was a little bit slow shipping, but it's alright. It's still, a, it's really stable. It's a really stable helicopter. It does take uh, a little bit to uh, figure it out, um, how, to, how to fly it and fully set it up, you know. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of lights that come from this LED on the back. Which, uh, some of them, like, uh, tell you the GPS satellite, how many there are, like, if there's six or more, three or less, four more, something like that. No, wait, one, uh, I don't know, I'd have to look at the manual, it's really, it's kind of complicated, I wish they would have, you know, I wish there would have been, like, some way that they could have incorporated, or, well, implemented a screen right here on the side where it says the Phantom, you know? So that it could tell you how many satellites there are. And hopefully that will come out in the third version. Uh, Phantom 3, if they, which should be a long time from now. Because they just released the second one. The screen. The Phantom 2 screen vision with the camera or so. And they, they're they going to have it. It'll be blue. This is ba Basically they changed the LED, you know. Uh, this has the, the newest firmware on it. So, Anyways, that's how you do the balance charger. And uh, charge your battery. Thank you for watching.